hello hello everybody hi guys how are you what's going on welcome ladies and gentlemen to your english class welcome ladies and gentlemen to your english class <coughs> Hello, hello, Alex. Hello, Wilfredo. Hello, Maybelline. How hello, are you? Teacher. How are you today? I I thank you, teacher. Very good. Are you ready for your English class? Yes, I'm ready. Okay. So yesterday we were practicing it speaking about uh, reading. There was a reading activity, eating for good luck. Do you remember? Yes, I remember. Yes, yes. Eating for good luck. So um, tell me, Alex, what do you eat for good luck? What do you eat? Oh, ¿cómo me fue? ¿O fue lo que me gustó? No, ¿qué come para la buena suerte? What do you eat for good luck? Uh, what do you eat? Uh, este, I eat... Eh, pizza, uh, moment. Pizza, okay. I love pizza. Uh, Alex, ask Wilfredo the question. What do you eat for good luck? Wilfredo, what, Hola, do, you, what do you eat? Good luck. luck. I eat Subway. Subway. Mm, I love Subway. <laughs> All right, Wilfredo, ask Maybelline, what do you eat for good luck? Maybelline. Hola, Maybelline. Hola. What do you eat for good luck? I eat uh, 12 grapes, like the history in Spain and Latin America. Oh, green grapes. Nice. Mm. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and uh, review the video from yesterday. And then you're going to read it out loud. Listen, please. Eh, por favor, escriban las palabras que no entienden o las frases que no entienden para después explicarle. Por favor. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll read an article about special foods. You will also develop skills in scanning and reading for details. On New Year's Day, many people eat special foods for good luck in the new year. Some Chinese people eat tangerines. Tangerines are round. Round foods end and begin again, like years. It is a Jewish custom to eat apples with honey for a sweet new year. Greeks eat vasilopita, bread with a coin inside. Everyone tries to find the coin for luck and money in the new year. In Spain and some Latin American countries, people eat 12 grapes at midnight on New Year's Eve. One grape for good luck in each month of the new year. On New Year's Day in Japan, people eat mochi, rice cakes, for strength in the new year. 
Some Americans from southern states eat black-eyed peas and rice with collard greens. The black-eyed peas are like coins, and the greens are like dollars. Greeks eat... All right, so right now what I want you to do is I want to listen to you read the text in pairs. <laughs> We're going to practice reading the text in pairs. Vamos a practicar el, la lectura en parejas. Lo que estábamos haciendo ayer. Ready? Let's go. Tómense turnos, uno y uno, uno y uno. Let's go. Wilfredo, ¿qué le pasó a Wilfredo? Lo grabé. Sí, ya lo vi. Hmm. Correcto, ya lo vi. Me voy a mover porque se me está descargando la computadora. Ok. Vamos a practicar, ¿verdad? A little for good luck. Sí. Eh, leo el primero, después usted lee el segundo, después el tercero, yo el cuarto y así sucesivamente creo que vamos a hacer. ¿Cómo? ¿Perdón? ¿Te parece? Hola. Eh, vamos eh, a, a, a estudiar. Estaba conectando la computadora aquí. Me... Ah, ya, ya, ya. Sí, vale. Eh, si quiere leer usted el primero y yo luego yo leo el segundo y así nos vamos. Correcto, de acuerdo. Comienzo. Sunshine people eat tangerit. Tangerits are raw, rum food, and, and the gin again like yours. It is Jewish. Bien, me quedo que lo noté eso. Sí, Jewish. Uh -huh, It correct. is a Jewish custom uh, to eat apples with honey for a sweet new year. Greet is basilopity. Bas basilopit. Bread with a uh, coin inside. Everyone tries to find to coin for luck and money in the new year. In Spain and some Latin American countries, people eat 12 breads at midnight on New Year's Eve. One bread for good luck in each month of the New Year. On New Year's Day in Japan, people eat 
mushy rice cakes for a strange in the new year? Some Americans from southern states eat black eyed peas and rice with color rings. The black eyed peas are like coins and the green are like dollars. Okay, Vamos a eh, some, eh, uh -huh. some Chinese people eat tangerines. Tangerines are from rum, full ends and begin again, like years. It is a Jewish custom to eat apple with honey with a sweet new year. Me toca Greek, no sé esa palabra, no sé. Teacher, ¿cómo se pronuncia eso? Greek. 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 Greek eat basilopia, bread with a coin inside. Everyone tries to find the coin for luck, for luck, for luck and money in the new year. Mm -hmm. Correcto. In Spain, um, some Latin American countries, people eat 12 grabs at midnight on New Year's. Everyone grab for good luck in each month on the New Year. On New Year's Day in Japan, people eat more rackets for strange in the New Year. Some American from Surin stay eat black egg, peas and rice with color green. The black egg peas are like coin, and the greens are like dollar. Hola. Hola, hola. ¿Qué pasó? No sé, se fue la pantalla. Ahí está. Eh, la última iba a usted, ¿verdad? Sí, ya la di. Anda. Entonces ahora sí, yo la digo los de arriba y usted los de abajo. Ah, me parece. Some Chinese people eat tangerines. Tangerines are from brown food and in begin again, like you. It is a jewel custom to eat apple with honey for a sweet new year. Break it basilope bread with a coin inside. Everyone try Hola. Hola, hola. Hola. Sí, sí. Va, ahora sí. Sí, se había ido un poco el internet. Eh, yo digo los de abajo, los tres de abajo. Sí. In Spain, in some Latin American countries, people eat 12 grape at midnight on New Year's. Everyone grape for good luck in each month on the New Year. On, G on New Year's days in Japan, people eat mochi rice case for a strange in the new year. Some American from Surin stay eat black egg, fish and rye with collard green. The black egg fish are like coin in the green 
are like dollar. Y usted entiende lo que dicen los, los, los seis. Sí. Bueno. Ajá. Y lo de las doce eh, eh, uvas lo practico. No. Lo de las doce uvas. No, es supersticioso. Ajá. ¿Qué hace? Eh, what do you do? For good luck. Ah, por, 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 por glad. O sea, de que ahí dice que en España, en los, los latinos, en las, en las ciudades, las personas de las 12, de las 12 uvas, en la medianoche es lo que en el año nuevo, como que juntan las 12, la, las 12 uvas para la buena suerte. Y en cada, y cada uno representa un mes, el, el mes uh -huh. del año. Pero qué, qué hace usted, lo que preguntó el teacher al principio. What do you do? Ah. Si usted lo hace o qué hace no. para la buena suerte. No, 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 nada. Sinceramente ¿Qué nada. Nada. ¿Y usted? I wear, I wear red clothes. Ajá. Ah, ya, ya. Eh, usted tiene una, bueno, usted lo hace igual como una familia eh, que está en Washington, Maryland. Ellos para Año Nuevo se ponen ropa roja también. Pero las mujeres y los hombres también van, pero con una camisa negra y no sé cómo más hay. All right, all right. Uh, let me have one volunteer. One volunteer que quiera leer la primera. One volunteer que quiera leer la primera. All right, Alex, usted voluntario. Go ahead, Alex. Read number one, please. Tiene que quitarle el silencio al micrófono. Le tiene que quitar el, el silencio a su micrófono, eh, Alex, para escucharlo. Ok, teacher, que se me había reducido la, la imagen. Ok. Ok. Son Chinese people y tangeries. Tangeries are wrong, wrong foods. And I'm beginning again, like years. Excellent. Very good. Tangerines. Go ahead, Alex. Tangerines. Select somebody. Okay, este... Neto. Go ahead, Neto. Neto, go ahead. Le puede quitar el silencio al micrófono. Okay, teacher. It is a Swiss custom to eat apples with honey for a sweet New Year. Mm -hmm. All right. Honey for a sweet New Year. Go ahead, select somebody. Um, my belly. All right, go ahead, Maybelline. Bread eat basilopia. Bread with a coin inside. Everyone tries to find the coin for luck and money in the new year. All right, very good. Select somebody, Maybelline. 
Eh, Wilfredo. Ok, go ahead, Wilfredo. Okay. Sí. Go ahead, Wilfredo. The next one, please. Hola, teacher. No tengo el diálogo en pantalla. ¿Me lo puede poner, por favor? All right, yes, of course. Go ahead. Ahí está. Uh, in, in Spain, in some Latin American countries, people eat 12 grape at midnight on New Year's. Every one grape for good luck in each month of the New Year. Excellent. New month of the New Year. Repeat, please. Luck. Okay. Luck. Good, good luck. Good, good luck. luck. Good, good luck. luck. That's right. Se escribe good con luck. U, pero se pronuncia con A. Uh, luck. Uh -huh. luck. Good luck. Good luck. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Select somebody. Hugo Carranza. Hugo Carranza. Hugo Carranza, ¿estás ahí? Ok, podemos elegir a alguien más. Hugo Carranza creo que no está ahí. Mauricio Torres. Mauricio Torres. Mauricio Torres, tampoco. Ok, select somebody else. Um, bueno, Neto, cuatro Neto. creo que estamos, teacher. Mm, ok, Neto, no, estás cuatro. ahí. Ok, ok. Go ahead, Neto. On New Year's Day in Japan, people is mochi, that's case for a stream in the New Year. All right, for strengthen in the new year. Repeat, strengthen in the new year. Strengthen in the new year. Strengthen in the new year. That's right. All right, select somebody for the last one. Don Alex. Okay. From American from Southern stay eat black eyed peas and rice we call our greens. The black eyed peas are like coins and the greens are like dollars. Excellent. So we're gonna say black eyed peas. Everybody repeat black eyed peas. Black, black eyed peas. Black eyed peas. Black eyed peas. Black eyed peas. All right. All right. At this moment, does anybody have any questions in referring to this vocabulary or the pronunciation of this vocabulary? Uh, teacher. Yes. Sí, la palabra es, para pronunciar la verdad es, es strain, strain. strengthen. 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 Rainsing. Ese es eh, fuerza, va. Eh, en, eh, dar fuerza. Okay. Eso es Rainsing darle fuerza. In the new year. Strengthen in the new year. Strengthen the new year. That's right. Okay. Thanks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Now, guys, what you're going to do is you're going to write in this. Eh, discussion forum here at the bottom, you are going to write a similar, eh, va, a, va a escribir algo similar a lo que leímos acá, un, unas dos, tres oraciones, escribiendo una comida que se come en El Salvador. All right, you have five minutes, five minutes. Okay, teacher. Pero no es para la suerte, solo cualquier comida. 
No, solamente algo típico que nosotros comemos. Digamos, por ejemplo, los jocotes en época, los jocotes en miel en época, cosas así. O digamos en las fiestas agostinas que se acostumbra bastante el elote loco. Cosas así como que tienen algún tipo de historia, así como lo han hecho ellos. No sé si no los puede revisar para ver si están bien. Ok, ya lo cargó. Ok, let me see. Semana Santa es Easter, ¿verdad? Yes. Still the Maybelline. No me parece todavía, quiero ver. Que okay, no sabe todo tipo de pupusas. In salads and people eat tamales with beans. In Easter, my family usually cook salad fish with rice on Friday. Okay, yeah. Se ve bien. Looks good. Eso. Sí, se ve bien. 
All right, guys, vamos a continuar. Ya veo que la mayoría ya terminó. Si no ha terminado, le queda de tarea. Eh, vamos a seguir en la próxima actividad, que es acá. Estamos trabajando de 4.12 Knowledge Check. 4.12 Knowledge Check. Instructions. Read the article, then select the word that completes each sentence correctly. Instrucciones. Lea el artículo. Luego, seleccione la palabra completa correctamente en cada oración. For example, number one, some Chinese people eat tangerines. Tangerines are round, sweet, or acid. What is your answer? Round. <laughs> Round. All right. So you're going to look at number two, three, four, five, six. You have five minutes. Five minutes. Vamos a, le a leerlos nuevamente y completar las oraciones con las palabras que te han dado. Solo una palabra está correcta. You have five minutes. Five minutes.
teacher. Hi, Alex. Eh, cuando aquí, cuando aquí estamos contestando ahorita, ¿va? Uh -huh. por, por ejemplo, en la 1 dice, al final dice, Tangerines are around like years. Uh -huh. Sería la traducción, las mandarinas son redondas como los años. Así sería. Eso es correcto. Así es. O sea, like es como va. Sí, pero también se usa para decir me gusta. Por ejemplo, yo digo, I like pizza. Pero si yo te digo, eh, por ejemplo, si yo te digo, Pizza Hut is delicious like Papa John's. Ahí estoy diciendo, Pizza Hut es igual de rico como Papa John's. Ya que se ocupa eh, en dos sentidos, por decir así. That's right, dependiendo del contexto. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Sí, que pero me, por eso tenía una duda ahí con ah, okay. la hora de la, tra, de la traducción. No la agarraba. Pero ya lo, sí, pero ya, ya, ya hoy sí ya lo tengo claro. Ok. ¿Ya terminaron, chicos, o necesitan más tiempo? ¿Ya terminaron? Pero, oye, ya, ya, ya es... termina. Yo ya okay. terminé. Ok. Now we're going to go ahead and move forward and we're going to look at the next activity which is coming from the platform here on section number 4.13 and we're looking at section 5. By the end of this class you will learn vocabulary related to popular sports in US and Canada. Al final de esta clase, ustedes aprenderán vocabulario relacionado con los deportes populares en Estados Unidos y Canadá. Listen, please. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary related to popular sports in the U.S. and Canada. Let's get started by listening and practicing the vocabulary. Sports seasons in the U.S. and Canada. In the spring, people play golf and play soccer. In the summer, people play baseball, play tennis, play volleyball, and go swimming. In the fall, people play football, go bike riding, and go hiking. In the winter, people play hockey, play basketball, go ice skating, and go skiing. Now it's your time to put this vocabulary into practice. I would like for you to describe the sports that you play in different seasons. For example, in the spring, I play soccer. In the summer. Okay, so para esta actividad vamos a escribir por lo menos eh, unas Siete oraciones expresando eh, la temporada y el, y, el, y el tipo de deporte que se juega en esa temporada. Por ejemplo, aquí dice, in the spring, ¿quién me puede decir cuál es el spring? Primavera. Primavera. Summer, ¿cuál es el summer? Verano. 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 Fall. Otoño. Otoño. Winter. Invierno. 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 So, quiero que me den dos deportes para cada temporada. Utilizando la estructura que estamos viendo acá. Lo vamos a escribir abajo en la discussion form. Summer. I go swimming. In the fall. I play football. In the winter, I play basketball. Ok, pueden usar esas cuatro ejemplos que le ha dado ahí el video y agregarle cuatro más. Una a cada una. Tienen cinco minutos.
Is everybody finished? Is everybody finished? No, yes. Okay. Okay, teacher. Are you finished? Yes. Thank you. Is everybody finished? Yeah. So. Okay. Now we are going to go ahead and look at the following one. <clears throat> Necesitamos terminar la sección 4 ahora. Porque ya para el lunes quiero que empecemos con la 5. Let's look at section 5.2, lesson objective. By the end of this class, you will learn how to ask and answer simple present questions. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Al final de esta clase, <clears throat> aprenderán cómo formular y responder preguntas interrogativas WH en presente simple. Además, practicarán una conversación la cual ilustra cómo se utiliza este tema en un escenario de la vida real. Ok. Todo este tiempo hemos estado estudiando preguntas eh, cerradas. Is, are, son todas son preguntas cerradas. Ahora vamos a llegar al próximo nivel, que son preguntas WH. Por ejemplo, what, what is your name? ¿Cómo te llamas? Where? ¿A dónde? ¿A dónde vives? Where do you live? Who? ¿Quién? Who is your favorite English teacher? Mr. Santos. Thank you. Ok, so vamos a meternos ya en un tema un poquito ya arribita, ok? Estas preguntas no se responden con solamente yes y no. 
se responden con información. Listen, please. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn how to ask and answer simple present WH questions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. So Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sports do you like? Hmm. Hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Wow, you're a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television. Do you play sports or watch a lot of sports? Now I would like to show you how to form simple present WH questions. Let's start by analyzing the chart on the screen. Simple present WH questions. What sports do you play? I play hockey and baseball. Who do you play baseball with? I play with some friends from work. We have a team. Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice once or twice a week. When do you practice? We practice on Sundays. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. The goal of using WH questions is to obtain more detailed information from someone. In this case, we want to know everything about the person's response, I play baseball. So we ask, what sports, who, where, how often, when, what time? In order to form simple present WH questions, we can follow this next formula. WH word plus do or does plus the subject plus the verb plus some kind of compliment. Let's analyze a couple of questions now. In the example, where do you play? The WH word is where. Then we add the auxiliary verb do. After that, we add the subject you. Next, we add the verb play. Finally, we add the complement. In this case, we don't have a complement because from our previous question and answer, we understand that we're talking about baseball. There's one particular question that I would like to point out. Who do you play baseball with? This type of question may sound a little strange in some languages because of the location of the words who and with. So I would like to explain the following. We can ask this question in two ways. The most common in American English is who do you play baseball with? The other way is by saying, with whom do you play baseball? It's not very common, but it's correct and formal to express yourself like this. So to understand the question, who do you play baseball with? Let me write a quick formula. Who plus do or does plus subject plus the verb plus noun plus with. As the example shows, we start our question with who. Next, we put an auxiliary verb, do. After that, the subject, you. Next, we need to add the verb and noun, play baseball. I would like to point out that sometimes it's not necessary to add a noun, just the verb so we can easily say, who do you play with? without adding baseball. Finally, we add wit and the question mark. Now it's your turn to practice making simple present WH questions. If possible, practice with the partner and practice asking and answering the questions. You may ask about, 
Let's get started by listening to a All right. <clears throat> what we're going to do right now is practice the conversation. Lauren and Justin. Everybody repeat please. So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? So, oh, Justin, oh, Justin what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Well, well I love sports. I love sports. Really? What sports do you like? Really? Really? What, what sport do you like? like? Hmm, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Hmm, mm. hockey, baseball, hockey, and baseball, soccer and are, soccer my, favorite. are my, favorite. my favorite. Wow, you're a really good athlete. Wow, wow. wow. you're a really, really good, good athlete. athlete. When do you play all these sports? When, when do you, do you play, play all these, all these sports? sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television. Oh, I don't play these sports. sports. I just watch them on television. on television. I just watch them on television. Excellent. All right. Now, what you're going to do is practice the conversation in pairs. Practice the conversation in pairs. Ok, Wilfredo. ¿Lo puede compartir la pantalla, Alex? Oh, claro que sí, ahorita. Por favor, que yo estoy en el, en el phone y ahí tengo que meterme al diálogo. ¿Logra verlo? Sí. Ok. Ya está. Entonces, eh, ¿empiezo yo? Correcto. Ok. So, Justin... What do you do in your free time? Well, I love sport. Really? What sport do you like? Um, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorite. Wow, you're a really good athlete. When do you play all this sport? Oh. I don't play this sport. I just watch them on television. Okay, solo una observación con la pronunciación de la palabra athlete. No decimos athlete. athlete, sino que athlete. La e, la última e no se pronuncia. Athlete. 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 Okay. In the free time. Well, I love sport. Really? What sport do you like? Mm, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorite. Oh. You are... When do you play all sports? Oh, I don't play this sport. I just watch things on television. <laughs> 